love bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Thank you for the love and support. Um, being able to connect with people on so many different levels is truly a blessing because we're really getting hit left and right with all different things. So it's a good thing to know we are truly not alone. So with all that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, even if you're dropping a line to give me a positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up to tell me about your impact and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Um, and if you feel like the video gave you good vibes uh, or just good information, you will love to show love on family and friend or even if all ego, uh, ego, empath. Uh, they are going through something right now. Please go ahead and share while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Oh, Jesus. Today, I'm listening to Cleanse Your Mind, 872 Hertz, Cleanse Unwanted Feelings, Negative Thinking, Soul, soul Fico, Frequency. I really had to put that on today, y'all. Um, And my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey, Oka is going through the intense karma clearing. Oh, Jesus. Today, I feel like oh, I lost my daggone mind. I'm serious. It's just like I can be happy one minute, you know, feeling all positive and, you know, zenful. And next thing you know, I'm just crying like I'm about to lose my bag on mine. I'm like, what is going on? And it's like, um, I was on the light workers, uh, light worker empath uh, group chat on Facebook. And it seemed like so many people were going through this all at the same time. And next thing you know, I hear karma clearing, karma clearing. I'm like, oh, Jesus, this is what it is. You know, I'm thinking about my mom, you know, because it's coming close to Mother's Day and, you know, missing my mom. You know, she passed away in 2005, you know, um, not being able to connect with my biological mom. It's been hard and, you know, I don't even think about my stepmom because I don't even consider her my stepmom anyway. But, you know, just basically, you know, having those two on my mind has really been getting to me. And all of a sudden, I just start bawling, and I hear my dad saying it's okay, and then my mom is like, you know, I hear her up in heaven talking about, you know, sweetie, I'm always here with you, and I choose, like, I know this is like a, you know, a crazy time for you right now, and it just feels like you're clearing everything, and it's like the ego is just off the chain, you know, bringing up a lot of things that you, you know, you thought you were past, and uh, just be having you thinking about a whole bunch of different things, you know, and I'm just like, ego, if you don't shut up and have a couple of seats, I am done, you know, so I'm just cleaning up my house, feeling good, because I always, anytime I clean up my house, I feel so much better, you know, when you walk around, smell like pine salt and bleach, stuff like that, make me feel good, <laughs> knowing it's clean, but, you know, going through all these different things, you know, um, creator of the universe is telling me, you know, we're going through a lot. Uh, you know, I, I do one-on-ones with different people, and you know, they're going through it too, and they're like, Rosalind, I don't feel like I'm going to make it, and I'm glad we're not all going through it at the same time, because we need somebody to be our cheerleader, you <laughs> know, we really do, you got to have one same person that can sit up here and say, you know what, you got to go through this, but just remember, it, it gets very intense before, you know, you finish towards the finish line, because you're, you're, they're wanting you to push all this stuff out of your system, not thinking about all the negative things, uh, letting go of traumatic, uh, you know, sequences or traumatic memories, anything that is not good for your system, not good for your aura, they're making you cleanse it out, making you cleanse it out, it makes you feel like you're having a stomach bug, and you're just getting sick, you know, everything coming out of both ends, it's just, it's just really bad. <laughs> It's just really, really bad. And so, you know, if you are going through these things, it's normal. Especially around right now. You know, if you lost and you know, if you lost your mom and stuff like that, you're probably really going through it right now because you you know, you're thinking about all the memories and that's what I was doing. You know, because me and my mom, you know, when I was growing up, my mom was like really depressed. 
you know, she really went through a lot. And, you know, my father, he turned me against my mom. So we were just like oil and water, oil and water. Like, F you, no, F you, and this and this and that. We would just go off on each other. And it was really bad. But when my mom uh, found out she had an aneurysm and a tumor in her brain and she knew she was dying. They, they already told her she had a couple of months. You know, she... She, she said, bump that, you know, I'm going to live, live my last few months with however I got left, I'm going to live it positive. And that's the part I like remembering, but it's just all the other things. I had to see my mom suffering, you know, going back and forth for 150 miles every day to go see my mom in the hospital, you know, staying up there for a few hours. If I wasn't stressing about my mom, I was stressing about my, my kids, you know, because my, I couldn't have kids up there with me like that. So it was just a lot. You know, so dealing with all these different things that you're thinking about, if you have lost a parent, you know, just to try to think about the good things that y'all cherish, you know, um, think about all the good times you had, not, you know, if they, they died from illness, they don't want you thinking about that. So, you know, Mother's Day is coming up and I'm just like, oh, I can't wait until this is over. <laughs> I really can't. So, you know, going through all these different things, I know, you know, better days are coming. You know, but I know I'm, I'm just dealing with a lot right now and just trying to push it out, you know, let it go. Um, deal with, you know, just want to deal with happiness, you know, but those vibes have just got to go back and forth, back and forth, because you're talking about push and pull factor. So you can be okay one day and the next, you know, it switches off and then, you know, you feeling like, do I need to be on Prozac? What is it? You know, <laughs> what is it? I'm going through it right now. You're like, Lord, take the wheel. But yeah, if you like... Right. I had to meditate for a few minutes before I can start this video because I didn't want to, you know, be all irritated, you know, trying to talk to y'all because it's like, how am I going to tell y'all, y'all need to go ahead and, you know, let these things go. I, You know, I really have to give myself that pep talk because like I tell y'all, as I'm healing, y'all are healing too. So it's all a learning process for everybody, you know, being a teacher as well as a student because, you know, we all go through things. Not every day is going to be perfect, you know, and I just give myself that pet talk if I have to have a good cry before I do anything I do that good cry let it all go you know and all of a sudden I started hearing my grams my grandfather John my dad my mom and I'm like oh gosh y'all is like oh y'all are coming to comfort me but it was a beautiful thing but it was very emotional just to have all those people you know here and you probably see I feel their energy right now so if you start seeing flashing lights and stuff like that that's because they're here so, you know, going through all that, at least I know I have spiritual support. You know, I have y'all, thank God, you know, because you got me beautiful messages and stuff like that. And I love that from the bottom of my heart. I'm glad I can be able to be that cheerleader for you. You know, people say I need to be a therapist. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not going to be the rapist of nobody's mind. I'm, <laughs> you know, I'll just talk about the things that I went through and all these things. But I'll be dead if I'm being somebody's doctor. I'm like, uh-uh. You know, it, it's just like we go through so many things. You know, and you have to keep remembering you are not the same person that started this journey. You have elevated and graduated so many levels. You have to be proud of yourself. Very proud of yourself. You know, just, you know, I have to keep telling myself, look at all the beautiful things you have done. Look at the beautiful things you're doing. Look at all the beautiful things you're heading towards. You know, your mom doesn't want you to be sad. You know, all these different things that are going on. Doesn't It shouldn't even really matter anymore. You know, but ego want to make, oh, you remember this? I'm like, eh, shut up. I'm, yeah, I remember that, but I ain't trying to think about that. I'm trying to let it go. You keep bringing it back. <laughs> you know, so it's like ego keep want to keep saying, I said, I wish you just die already. <laughs> you know, just stay dead, but she keep coming back like Jason. You know, so Jason Voorhees, I feel like I'm in the middle of Friday 13th every day, every other day. You know, so it, it's just like going through all those different things is just, we're clearing. So if you're going through those intense emotional roller coasters where you feel yourself getting angry, you feel yourself being fatigued, you feel like if you need to go take a nap, go lay down, take a nap. <laughs> if you feel like you want to be energetic like last night, I mean, I was doing videos around 10, 11 o'clock at night. I usually don't be doing no videos like that. I usually do my videos early in the morning or, you know, in the evening time or whatever. But it, it was just like going through all those different things. I was so energetic last night and just like, okay. You know, let it all out, sing, dance, listen to music, have fun, you know, turn up, whatever. And I did that. So, and, you know, get up this morning and was about to go outside and, and take a walk, but it was like stifling hot. It was like 80, 90 some degrees today here. So it was really hot. 
so I haven't got a chance to go outside. But, you know, all these different things, I said, I know I'm going to end up taking a nature walk sometime soon today. But going through all these things is normal. You know, we're almost at the end of the finish line. So you really, it's really getting intense. And you got to be like, oh, gosh, when is it going to be over? It's almost over. It really is almost over. So going through all these different things, you know, if if you if your emotions change, try to do something that's going to, you know, make you laugh, make you happy. If you need a good cry, go ahead and cry. You know, if you got one of them punching bags, go out there and punch a punching bag. Go out there and scream. You know, do something you go re release whatever you got to release because it's just like they're having you keep going through this because it is at times it can feel unbearable like i can't deal with this anymore i am done i give up i want to give up you want to give up but it ain't gonna allow you to <laughs> you can want to give up all you want but you already know if you truly want this you're gonna have to go through hell and high water to get whatever you want so you know do what you have to do to release whatever you do as long as they hurting or shooting or killing anybody we don't went through too much like that and i'm getting sending prayers out to colorado i wasn't it was close to that columbine school you know i guess one dead and seven or six of them been injured i'm just like what is the world coming to today you know what is the world coming to i said i don't condone you know trying to take your life you know i've tried to do that myself sorry y'all one of my, my ancestors or family members just passed by because i just seen that <laughs> my lights get so got bright that was crazy but going through all that you know i it it irks the heck out of me when these people feel like you want to be a ticking time bomb why don't you go kill yourself you know i don't be telling people i don't condone on that but don't be trying to kill somebody else traumatize them it's bad when your nerves get bad you can't take your kids to church you can't take your kids to the movie theater you can't go to a casino and then you, can't, you have to worry about your kids every day at school you know, this is just beyond ridiculous. We It's like we're living in our last days. So I'm saying prayers up for the people in, 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 in I think it's Colorado, but, you know, wherever it's at, I'm sending prayers up to them because I know that has to be a lot to deal with. But y'all go ahead, meditate, do what you have to do, and know that this, this karma clearing is almost over. It's very intense right now, but it's a to be because I guess it's making you clear everything out at one time so it's like bringing everything up and you dealing with what you got to deal with so I hope you're able to resonate please drop me a line let me know if you're going through this as well um, I'm saying a prayer and love sending love out to everybody so I'm giving a shout out to Georgina uh, Mogul uh, let me see Lisa Williams much love to you too sis and i hope everything is going okay for you and oh gosh that just scared the mess out of me <laughs> and diane wait much love to you like and subscribe hit that notification bell share the video give me a thumbs up and you know hit that bell if you you know you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you in my next video much love peace and be wild